and today I'm going to be making this magical clock slash calendar which I saw in the new Grinch movie. As a Dr. Seuss and Grinch fan this is the ultimate whimsical decoration and is also a fun way for kids to check the time and the date. Let's get started! I cut these two shapes from a cardboard box and I made two each and then I placed my clock, a compass and a smaller compass into place traced around them so I knew where to cut the circles. When you cut all the circles out, cut off each end of both pieces. I'm really flying. The music. Okay. Cut out a rectangle. This will be the back of the clock. These are all the cardboard pieces that you should have. Next, trace all of these pieces onto normal cardstock paper. Take two napkin or toilet rolls and place them together. That way you can see where you want your square to be. Don't forget to cut the square out of the cardstock as well. Take your cardstock and cut two inch strips. Using a hot glue gun, stick the strip around the edge of the cardboard. How are you? Using white glue, just stick another two layers on top, just to make it extra strong. Take your second cardboard piece and stick it on top. I'm sticking one last strip of cardboard and this time with a normal Pritt stick glue because it gives a much smoother finish than the white glue. Cover both ends with the cardstock pieces and trim any edges off with a Stanley knife. This is what your piece should look like. Don't worry about the edges because we're going to cover those up later. I repeated the exact same process with the other pieces of cardboard. Instead of using 2 inch strips as I did with my other piece, I used 4 inches for the largest part and 3 inch strips for the two side parts. This is optional but you can paint your pieces. Although cardboard is a nice smooth finish, I just really like the whole painted look. Plus if it gets dirty or you accidentally get glue on it, you can just paint over it. But then. Once I started painting it, it started to ripple and it just looked super bad. So I started painting on the back of some wrapping paper and the paper didn't wrinkle as much. So I covered all the pieces with wrapping paper and painted on top of that. So this is what all the pieces look like after I've covered it in wrapping paper and painted over it. You can still see a little bit of rippling but it's not very noticeable. If you have any suggestions about how to get a really really smooth finish, please comment below. Finally, stick everything together. I got some wire from the dollar store. It's about half a centimetre wide and I bought 7 metres of it. Place the wire around all the edges and cut to size. Here's what all the pieces look like once I've cut them. Stick them on using glue gun. You can spray paint them before gluing them onto the clock or you can glue the wire directly onto the clock and paint them afterwards as I've done here. So you know those cute jam jars that you get at hotels? Well, I took the lids off two of them and I painted them. I'm going to use these as my dials. To make my buttons, I got these rings that I found left over from something I bought at Ikea and some googly eyes. I love using nail varnish instead of paint because it gives such a nice glossy finish. Or I use normal paint and then cover it with clear nail varnish. These are just suggestions. You don't have to make your buttons or dials with the same things. Um, you can just try and find anything that's in the house that resembles the same shape. Take an old clock or a clock from the dollar store. Mine was about 6 inches wide. And you're going to need a smaller clock or compass. This is what's going to be the moon clock. And then an even smaller clock or compass. This one was actually a dollar store bike bell which I found. Paint the edges gold. For the light you'll need a ring shape. I took mine from an old makeup container. I painted it gold and I cut out a piece of green plastic which I found from an old book cover and you want to stick the plastic 
around the edges. Paint the whole clock white with a gold border and a blue circle in the middle. Try not to get too much paint in the centre of the clock where the hands move because you don't want the paint to dry and then jam the hands from moving. Also try not to break any of the watch hands as I have done here because it's going to make it harder to stick on the new hands. Take some plastic from a product package or a plastic plate, it doesn't have to be red. Draw on two of these shapes, one should be smaller than the other. To make the hands more stronger and rigid, I'm just going to go over it with a hot glue gun. I'm not going to go over the heart bit because if it's too heavy, it's going to droop. Trim the watch hands, leaving just a little bit for you to stick the new hands on. And it's so Once I've stuck the hands on, I just put a little button which I made on top. I've printed out Dr. Seuss style numbers and I've stuck them on the clock with Mod Podge. You can find these numbers and all the other images that I've used in the link below. I bought this ruler at the dollar store and just snapped the end off because it was a little bit too long and I want it to be a similar width to the clock. I put a layer of Mod Podge on top and stuck it onto an image of a radio dial. For the property of Grinch sign, I just covered it in Mod Podge and stuck it to some plastic. I've put Mod Podge on the face of the larger compass and stuck on my moon. To make the calendar, you're going to need two barbecue skewers and two toilet rolls or a napkin roll cut in half. Cut the toilet roll in half again so that you have three pieces. Roughly cut out two circles from a normal piece of paper. Glue each side of the roll to the paper. Once you've done both sides, cover each side with masking tape for extra strength. You don't want the hole which the skewers go through to get loose. I put another layer of paper just to make it look nicer and add extra strength. Find the center of the roll and stick a little pin through. You can use normal paper to print out the months and the dates or you can use photographic as I've done here. It just gives it a really nice gloss. And then stick the skewer right the way through. Cut out the shape using cardstock and stuck it on. I cut out two of these shapes out of cardstock and gave them their own gold border. To stick the calendar to the clock, I put glue on each end of the sticks. I stuck it by sticking my hand through the back of the clock and then adding some duct tape on the back for extra strength. I didn't stick the gold border until I had stuck the calendar in just so I could get the best fit. I stuck the clock and compasses through the holes and then secured them again with some duct tape from the back. Stick on the ruler, the buttons, the dials and the property of Grinch sign with a glue gun. For our light, make a small hole where the centre will be. When the hole is big enough, stick on your light. At the dollar store, I bought this LED book light. I clamped it onto the cardboard and positioned it so that it would shine through the light. The very last step is to take a gold fidget spinner and stick it on the top. I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe because I'll be doing more Grinch DIYs and of course I'm going to be doing a Grinch party! What? It'll be fun!